name is Jared. I am your order box rep. I am here to talk about snow safety equipment. No matter how many antennas there are in a beacon, only one antenna is sending out the signal, right? And it sends it in this apple-shaped pattern. If you're buried where it says very high visibility, you're gonna be buried flat. And that apple core signal is gonna be going out along the snow. Your friends are searching in that plane, right? They're holding their beacon out like this. Your beacon is transmitting like that. That's a very good, what we call coupling. That conversation, you're very, very highly visible. And those beacons are gonna talk to each other really, really well. If you're buried in that second position, it's sending the beacon of the signal up and coming down. That signal is being interpreted by that Z antenna, which is really, really, really tiny. It doesn't give you very good directionality, and also your range just goes down. You're losing all that length because that length is going up into the sky and has to come back down. So depending on how you're buried can make you more visible or, or less visible, unless you're carrying an Ortobox beacon. We have what's called smart antenna. It's got an accelerometer in it. This thing is always going to know what orientation it's in. And depending on where you settle out, if it's like this, it's going to transmit here. If it's like that, it's going to transmit from here. That is totally unique to Ortobox. Nobody else has that. So uh, a lot of people like to say this is the, the selfish man's beacon. Because if I'm carrying this beacon and I'm buried, no matter what beacon you guys have, I'm gonna send out, I'm throwing out a better signal, arguably, than any other beacon out there. So that's smart antenna technology. The Zoom, the 3 Plus, and the S1 Plus all have that smart antenna technology. The S1 is the big daddy. Arguably the most intuitive beacon out there. And we had actually one of our reps take his five-year-old daughter, he put a beacon out, buried it in a pile of leaves in his yard, in transmit mode. And he handed her this beacon and he said, okay, go, go find it. And he just didn't tell her how to turn it on, didn't tell her how to do anything, and she couldn't do it. She didn't know how to get it into search mode, didn't know anything. This beacon here, when you turn it on, you've just got a simple on-off switch. When you turn it on and it's closed, you'll see a little pulse here and you'll know that it's transmitting. Because of cell phones, it's very intuitive that five-year-old girl just went and opened it. And when you open this beacon, it's automatically in search mode. And what this beacon does is this has the screen. So basically what this will do is this will run you through <clears throat> Okay, you wanna walk, it's got a little dude with a little, I don't have a signal, so you wanna check the, check the avalanche debris. And then when it gets a signal, the arrows come on and the numbers go down, you put the arrow in the middle, follow it, and go. Her, his daughter had never seen a beacon, never done a beacon, whatever, walked right out her front door, found the beacon in the yard. So arguably very, very intuitive, very, very easy, even for a five-year-old to use this beacon. This beacon does have the smart um, antenna technology, so no matter how it's gonna be buried, it's gonna transmit from yeah. the antenna that is gonna go out across the snow. It is updatable. It is, uh, you can run the full self-diagnostic check. Um, it has the auto revert technology. It also has the partner check technology that the 3 Plus does as well auto revert. With the accelerometers in this thing, after uh, 90 seconds, if you stop moving, a little alarm will go off. And if you don't move this thing within 30 seconds, at 120 seconds, two minutes, this thing is going to say, you're caught in a second avalanche. I'm going to immediately switch back. No matter what you do, I'm going to switch back and start transmitting again. Partner check mode. Maybe your beacon is not transmitting to its full 50 meters. Maybe it's only transmitting 20 meters. Maybe it's only transmitting 10. Maybe you dropped it and you broke that coil that's inside that, um, that antenna and it's only transmitting with half the, half the antenna so you're getting half the range. Very, very possible that something like that could happen. 
So what, uh, what this does is when we go into a special mode, partner check mode, what it does is it simulates, it like turns itself down. So instead, even if a beacon is this far away, it goes into a mode and says, I'm not this far away, I'm 50 meters away. So every beacon that comes by, it checks it as if it were, no matter what the range is, it's not only checking that it's getting a signal, but that that signal is going to be at the full 50 meters. So you're just reducing risk at every single part of the process. In addition to that, this beacon has four sensors in the lid here. What those four sensors do, even though it's a square, we're saying it's triangulating, those signals, no matter where they're coming from, so let's say you have three or four people buried out there, those signals are going to be coming from different directions and they're going to hit the sensors at different times. So it can basically tell, because of these four sensors, it's going to be able to tell signal strength and directionality. So what it does is it actually puts everybody on the screen and it'll say, you're five meters that way, you're 20 meters out that way, and you're 40 meters out that way. Because it'll interpret everybody's signal, follow, you know, tell exactly where everybody's at, and plop them on the screen with their direction and their distance. It also has a clinometer, so a slope nice. um, clinometer in it, so you can lay it on the slope, so you can tell what type of slope you're on. So there's a lot of bells and whistles, updatable printouts, you know, all that stuff.